All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to the video. It is six in the morning. We got a shoulder day today. It's pretty high volume one. Um, Y'all know when I hit shoulders, I like to do a big, big pressing movement, usually dumbbell uh, shoulder press. Um, I like that better than barbell. Sometimes I do a Smith machine, but today we're doing dumbbell, my favorite. And then I'm gonna throw in a bunch of supersets, usually kind of front delt, side delt, or front delt, rear delt, you know, switch them up a little bit. But um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I'm starting out with some shoulder press, like I was saying. Um, main key on here is to uh, just drive with your shoulders instead of just throwing the weight up um, and engaging like your um, traps and you can even engage like a little bit of your last and stuff like that. Instead, I want to just slow it down. Um, only do 65s instead of going super heavy. Um, and the entire time, just try to feel a connection to my, my delts. So um, yeah, four sets of 82. Alright guys, so now we're hitting the side delts. So this is the most important exercise you can do for your shoulders, um, which is lateral raises. So I'm doing 35s on the sitting, and I'm super setting and standing. Um, key here, and the sitting ones, I'm going heavier. I'm just honestly swinging it, you know, trying to activate my delts, rear, I mean my lateral delts, as much as I can, but just pushing weight up. And then I super set it with standing lateral raises, and on that one I try not to cheat at all. I'm just control the weight on the way down and you know gradually push it up but back to the size we're going to be doing uh, upright rows um a little bit up we're hitting a front delt obviously but um i had to go a little bit higher go all the way up at the top so you can hit my traps as well um just four sets of 20 to 10 nothing crazy um like i said just the entire weight you can be attached in the front delt at the top squeeze the traps Alright guys, so we're super setting, doing 4 sets of 12 on the cable lateral raises, and then 4 sets of 10 on the uh, rope front raises. Um, ropes that just really hit my front delt. I love using the cable because it puts constant tension. Um, same with the lateral raises. Um, I'm tilting my body to the other side. That way I can get a full stretch of the vert at the bottom of the rep. Um, but yeah, cables are always great because, like I said, the contraction lasts the entire rep even on the way down. Um, main thing here is just my muscle connection, slow it down, you know, get the form right.
right, so we're at the end of the workout. We have hit every single part of our shoulders, um, at least once or twice. Um, the only thing left is our rear delts, which honestly I did hit my rear delts at the top of the rep at the um, upright rows. But to finish them off, doing three sets of 15, not going heavy, um, putting on 30 pounds, doing reverse flies. Um, you can do this on a pec deck machine. I like doing it with cables just because you have more range of motion. Um, the gym's packed and crowded, I'll use the pec deck machine, but since it's completely empty, um, I'll use cables. But uh, that's about it. Like I said, three sets of 15, my muscle connection. Y'all know. Let's get out of the shower, look like trash, I don't know. Anyways, um, this is the end of the video. Literally a couple of days after I videoed and filmed. Um, someone wanted to say though, uh, really changing up my like split in training. This is kind of towards my old. Um, so I'll let y'all in on that. Uh, I'm gonna try to upload a video once a week and um, really bring my workouts and give in detail what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But um, besides that though, I really appreciate y'all chilling for real. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, besides that, appreciate y'all time. Till next week. Yeah.